The first reading for Mass yesterday was the Tower of Babel, which on the surface of things seems very puzzling. So humanity is building this tower to reach the heavens, to reach God. God is displeased, comes down and disperses their languages, and the work remains unfinished. Uh, the tower is not done. They don't reach the heavens. What's the theological point of that? It's to emphasize that we cannot reach God by our own human effort, that there is a hubris within us at times, a pride that thinks that, that we're in control, that we can even kind of manage God or dictate to God what we think that he should do, how he should run uh, the universe. So the hubris of Babel is that humanity is trying to, to lift themselves up on their own efforts without God, kind of a spiritual pull yourself up by your own um, bootstraps. And there's been various heresies throughout the church that have been condemned on that basis, that we rely on grace and we do our part, but totally reliant on God's initiative and God's grace to, to finish the project. That's coupled with the gospel where Jesus says to pick up your cross and carry it. So we're left with uh, fundamentally two choices, to build our own tower of pride or to carry the cross of Jesus, to rely on our own efforts or to surrender to the power and grace of the Lord. This weekend is commitment weekend for the ACA so anything that you give to the annual Catholic Appeal is really helping us to not build towers of pride or self-sufficiency, but rather to help all of our beloved faithful throughout the diocese to see the cross, to embrace the cross, to carry the cross, and there to find the Lord Jesus and to know of his great love for us. So do we build a tower? Do we carry the cross? Do we live for ourselves? Do we live for God? The choice is clear, and we as Christians strive to look at the cross of Christ and see there the fundamental paradox that in the middle of death is life, that Good Friday leads to Easter, and that the crucifixion leads to resurrection. And it's in that death of self, it's in that handing over, it's in what we give away, it's what we sacrifice, even to the ACA, that in the end um, bears rich fruit in the field of God's harvest.